I think what we need to focus on versus the mindset. How do we think of our house? Our, our, since probably our parents or grandparents told us, buy a house, Sonny, and pay it off. One day it'll be yours. You'll own it completely. I say, maybe you don't want to own it completely. Maybe you want to have this line of credit in there in case there's some day when you need cash and you don't have it. You know, what if? Yeah, I got to tell you, I wish I was 62 and had a reverse back in 2008 because I literally yeah. had a home I was in go from 800000 to 300000 I was in a really ugly market, bought at the peak, whatever. And all my money evaporated. I love the hedge aspect of this. I love the idea. Look, I know reverse mortgages are a little more costly than a regular mortgage and the rates are a little higher, but rates are so low right now that I remember back when I was happy to get under 10 for the first time. So this is a way that I could get insurance for my equity, for my future, for my security, because I really hope and pray that this is all dissolves itself in the next couple months or whatever. But I got a bunch of grown kids that a couple of them are already facing, you know, imminent layoffs and they're going to need help or they're going to need somebody to come stay with. It's not just me and I I don't want to go doling out my money, but I still have an income. But what if I don't have an income? What if I can't make money? I kind of had my plans based on everything that I I would just like to have that there and know that it can't disappear. And my ability to stay in my house forever, no matter what happened. What if I wasn't talking about a reverse mortgage right now? What if I was talking about an insurance product that would allow you to take out a line of credit, <laughs> X amount of dollars, have it guaranteed to never go away, have a interest rate that was that was set, that would grow in value, and that would allow you to live in your home for the rest of your life, no matter what happens. How much would you pay for that insurance policy? Wow. Consider those closing costs. Wow. If I could buy an insurance policy for my equity and for my ability to stay in my home, never make a mortgage payment again, that's an insurance policy. Guarantee my access to my equity. It just makes sense. Yeah, well, it can. So I guess that's the bottom line. And we've kind of piqued people's interest. And I know that up on your Facebook page, you have all the questions anybody ever submits, interviews we've done there, and we're trying to do more educational stuff. And I love it because this this is my educational process. You're, you're teaching me and we're just kind of sharing that. What do people need to do next? I've got questions. I'd like to know what my own scenario would look like. How What would my equity line be? How can I really have no payment? What would it cost? How do I find out that information if I'm in your market area and if I'm not? All loan products are not for all. You need to get the detail. We need to get specifics. Messenger me, email me, text me. Somehow get a hold of me in my office. We'll be more than happy to reach out to you and get you answers to your questions. Some, for some people, it's right. For others, it's not. It's not a matter of a yes or no. It's a matter of maybe it's not right for you today. It'll be right for you five years from now or 10 years from now. If you get the right information, then at least you can make choices that are in your best interest. Uh, down below, click the button, get on a hold of us. We're more than happy to answer any questions.